if you want to go from this... ...to this... then you've come to the right place. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys everything you need to know in order to go from the average Joe to a pro. Let's get right into it. Have you ever watched an unknown player in your feed with some of the best mechanics you've ever seen, only to find out that they have absolutely nothing earned on the game? There's a few reasons why this happens, but a poor mindset is oftentimes the main cause. A player could have better mechanics than Noah Riley and better aim than Thomas HD, but a poor mental state will prevent them from making any strides in the comp scene. I'm not talking about just game IQ either here. Confidence, patience, optimism, and admitting your mistakes in order to learn are all components of a healthy mindset. In Fortnite, and really any part of life for that matter, you need to be optimistic if you want to be successful. Fortnite is a stressful game, guys. There's so many factors determining your match outcomes that are out of your control. However, one thing you can control is how you react. When you die off spawn in the first game of your tournament, you may want to whine about how it wasn't your fault or even just give up entirely. While this may seem like an easy way out, you're only hurting yourself by not staying 100% percent locked in. Instead of looking for an excuse for why you came up short, think of what you could have done differently and keep it in mind for the next time something similar happens. Aside from the specific situations, you need to be confident in your ability to succeed in general. If you enter a new season thinking you fell off and won't have a chance to compete at the top level, that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm telling you guys, the beliefs you have about yourself will reflect in your gameplay. Even if you aren't the best player, telling yourself that you have what it takes to reach your goals will make your progression speed up like crazy. And when it does come to specific situations like fighting a player during the mid game, your confidence matters even more. I promise you guys, if you end up getting pushed by an aggressive player and automatically assume that you're toast, you will be. Your nerves will be reflected in your fighting and you'll make dumb decisions that you wouldn't normally make. One aspect of mentality that many people tend to overlook is patience. If you're expecting to make it as a pro overnight, you're only going to disappoint yourself. An overwhelming majority of the pros you see on the top of the leaderboards today didn't start there. These players have been grinding for years to get where they are. Of course, there's those players like Klix and Booga who have been on top for quite a while, but even they had to wait almost two years to get noticed at first. You need to accept that your journey to becoming a pro might be a long one, and the only person that can shorten that is you. One of the best ways to separate yourself from others in your position is by prioritizing your fighting skills. Now, I know that we just went over how your mentality can be more important than mechanics, but optimizing your fighting skills can be what helps you reach that next level. Think about it. Say there's two players with a similar game IQ in a solos match. The one with better fighting skills is most likely going to be the one to come out on top. Dying in mid-game fights is one of the most common ways to waste a tournament game. Being able to pull down any opposing player is going to give you additional points on top of the extra loot you're receiving. One of the best ways to improve yourself as a fighter is by practicing against players who are better than you. When you're fighting against advanced players, the mistakes you make will be pointed out to you rather quickly. And if you follow the advice we handed out just minutes ago, you'll use these mistakes to learn and better yourself. Sure, playing against players who are worse than you can be a lot of fun, but it won't help you improve. Constantly fighting against lower skilled players will get you comfortable with where you are, causing you not to make any changes that actually need to be made. Look, you should definitely dominate some noobs for a confident boost every once in a while, but challenging yourself against advanced players is what's going to help you improve. Speaking of advanced players, head over to ProGuides.com where we've got an army of pro coaches ready and waiting to teach you everything you need to know about Fortnite so you can improve fast. If you want to make it as a top player in Fortnite, you need to surround yourself with people who share the same goals as you. When the people surrounding you all want the same thing, you'll all help each other improve. Your group will be able to hold each other accountable for slacking and keep each other in check when someone thinks they've already worked hard enough. If you're constantly playing with people who aren't driven, you'll slowly start to slip down that same path. When you play with people who are, the exact opposite will happen. Other than the mental aspects, playing with a solid group will allow you guys to strategize and improve together. Playing arena, scrims, creative, and really anything for that matter will offer experiences that everyone can learn from. Say you guys came up short in a trio scrim. You can all hit the VODs and combine your thinking to figure out what exactly went wrong and what you guys can do in the future to prevent it from happening again. And when it comes to creative, you'll always have access to a high-skilled player you can practice against. Like I said before, playing against players who are better or at least equal in skill is the best way to improve your fighting. You should be playing tons of build fights, zone wars, box fights, and realistics together to 
make sure everyone is on top of their game. All right, Fortnite fam, it's time for the question of the day. What weapon or item are you hoping comes back in season five? Let us know what you think down in the comments below. If you want to become a pro, it's not going to just magically happen. You need to have a plan. You need to set realistic goals for yourself and lay out exactly what you'll need to do to reach them. You can start by creating and following a training schedule. Set aside however many hours you have available for training and stick to it. This doesn't need to be too specific. Just have a general idea of what areas you're lacking in and what you can do to fix it. However, if you want an idea of what an optimal training routine looks like, check out our season four warm-up guide. Taking a step outside of the bigger picture, you need to have a plan when competing. You can start by finding a landing spot you can consistently win and create a loop path to follow each time you drop there. Doing this will avoid unnecessary RNG off spawn and will put you in a better position when it comes time for the mid game. You should even be creating a plan for the things you can't predict ahead of time. You can observe the lobby conditions and decide what playstyle would fit that match best. You're a little bit behind on points but you've been noticing a lot of newbie gamer tags in the kill feed. Play it aggressive and stack up your elimination points. You won your first game and now you're being queued with pros, take it easy and play for the win. These are only examples, but it's the concept that's truly important. The sooner you stop sitting back and going with the flow and start taking action to reach your goals, you'll finally start seeing some progress. You need to separate yourself from the other 99% of people who want the exact same thing that you do. Well, that wraps things up for today, Fortnite fam. Did you enjoy the video? Be sure to leave a like and ring that bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest tips and tricks we have to offer. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let us know if there's anything you would be interested in learning more about. Remember guys, Fortnite is not an easy game to go pro in by any means. It's going to take dedication, consistency, and a love for the game to make it to the next level. Use the tips we gave you guys in today's video and you'll be well on your way to the top of those leaderboards. Once again, my name is Galvanize and I'll see you in our next video here at Pro Guides.